The following is an exclusive presentation of Jefferson Pilot Sports, a division of Jefferson Pilot Financial. How tough is the road in the Southeastern Conference? Just ask the Auburn Tigers. Two weeks ago, the fourth-ranked Tigers were flying high after a long-awaited victory over Kentucky. 18 days later, the Tigers are reeling after back-to-back -back losses to Ole Miss and Tennessee on the road. But Chris Porter and the Tigers are at home today, where they haven't lost in 26 games. Today, they face a Mississippi State team looking for redemption. Auburn beat the Bulldogs by six just two weeks ago in Starkville, Mississippi. But Rick Stansberry has had a week to prepare his team to try to tame the Tigers down on the plains. Auburn, Mississippi State, next. Cliff Dwellers, they're ready at Auburn, Alabama. You've got rabid fans and good basketball players, and that's a lethal combination in college basketball. SEC today, the Mississippi State Bulldogs against the Auburn Tigers. And hi, everybody. Welcome to today's game from Auburn, Alabama. David Steele along with Joe Dean. We're glad to have you along. Should be a good one. A very important game between these two Western Division rivals, Joe. Well, David, that's right. Auburn is 4-2 and two in the West. Everybody else except Ole Miss has three losses. A win today by Mississippi State. And we've got turmoil in the SEC West. Well, these two teams played just 13 days ago in Starkville, Mississippi. Auburn won the game, but it was not easy. And Robert Jackson for Mississippi State played perhaps the best game of his career. Well, he did, David. He had a career game, 15 points, 18 rebounds for Robert Jackson. The big fella from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, scored inside, 6'8", 250 pounds. He's a physical presence for the Bulldogs on the defensive end with the shot-blocking ability. He'll need that today because he's going head up against the SEC's Player of the Year, Chris Porter, a great talent. Seriously, he is one of the best college basketball players in the game today. SEC Player of the Year might get that award again this season. We'll see how well the Tigers play down the stretch, but certainly going to be a strong candidate. If you want to look at one matchup in particular today, keep an eye on the point guard position. We're going to see two of the top point guards in the league, Joe. Well, David, it's going to be a fun matchup. Two senior point guards who really make their teams go. Todd Miles on the left. He's a senior, sets his players up well, and Doc Robinson, second in the SEC in assists, but what he has done this year for the Auburn Tigers, clutch shooting in big games at critical times. Great matchup today. All right, it's Auburn, four and two, in the Southeastern Conference, trying to get back on the winning trail against the Bulldogs of Mississippi State University. We'll be back in just a moment. Saber, we didn't just look to research numbers or test scores. We also took a good look at your family. Introducing the all-new 2000 LeSabre, re-engineered with more safety features than any other car in its class. The new 2000 LeSabre by Buick. Get a free face plate in the colors of your favorite SEC team when you buy a Nokia 5180 digital phone. And get the colors of the game scratch card. Every card offers a prize or value. Okay, honey. How about this? I'm seeing a cabin. Are you seeing plumbing? <laughs> Imagine a big porch with a stone fireplace, plenty of room for the grandkids. When you find yourself writing the story of your life, Tell it to Jefferson Pilot Financial. We'll help make it happen. My big pain with dancing bears? No. Aw. Oh. <laughs> you had me, Tom Bear. Come on. <laughs> SEC Basketball is being brought to you by Altel, the power to simplify. By the all-new 2000 LeSabre by Buick, re-engineered to be safer than ever. 
and by Jefferson Pilot Financial. Complete financial planning and life insurance. We're helping you write the story of your life. We're back in Auburn, Alabama, just about set for the opening tip. Southeastern Conference basketball action today in the Western Division. The Bulldogs of Mississippi State, the visiting team today. Rick Stansbury's ball clock, 11 and 7. And here is their starting lineup. Michael Gola, the 6'5 sophomore, and one forward, along with Kang Hamilton, certainly an all-Southeastern Conference candidate. In the middle, Robert Jackson, who played splendidly two weeks ago against Auburn. Todd Miles and Antonio Jackson in the backcourt. And for the Auburn Tigers, coached by Cliff Ellis, in the front court, Chris Porter, last year's SEC Player of the Year, Damian Fishback. The center is Mamadou Inzai. And the back court features Scott Coleman and the All-SEC point guard, Doc Robinson. Fans still filing in on a cold, wintry day outside. Going to be a good crowd, however, for SEC basketball. The tip-off is coming up. It's time for another Piccadilly People Profile. And try saying that three times fast with your mouth full of catfish. That's what Sally Sanders comes for twice a week, plus whatever else catches her eye on our 50-foot spread of hot, wholesome, home-style cooking. This time, it's the cherry pie and the chocolate cake. Oh, well, there's always room on the tray for one more or two. Piccadilly Cafeteria, who says you can't please everybody? you like find you. E-Tour brings you sites that match your interests. So you can surf without searching. If you're an employer having a difficult time recruiting qualified help, this may interest you. The Alabama Career Center is pleased to offer area employers the ability to reach literally thousands of qualified job seekers through the combined use of television, interactive voice response, and the internet. The Alabama Career Center is easy to use, streamlines the hiring process, and is the most cost-efficient way to match your job openings with qualified applicants. Want a better way to fill job openings? Call the Alabama Career Center for complete information. 63 to 49, they won the last seven. But they have been closely contested in the last six. Average margin of victory for the Tigers, only about five points per game. And we're underway in Auburn, Alabama. Glad to have you with us today. First half of an SEC doubleheader. Mississippi State right off the bat, man-to-man. -man. We'll watch the matchup. Antonio Jackson is guarding the great shooter, Scott Coleman. Porter. Going an outside jump shot early. Michael Gola rebounds for the Bulldogs. And likewise, the Auburn Tigers start man-to-man. -man. We saw a lot of changing defenses in the earlier matchup in Starkville 13 days ago. We'll keep an eye on that. Those teams an aggressive, overplaying the passing lane type of man-to-man -man early. Miles penetrates, gets it to Hamilton. Ah! Well defended by Chris Porter. Chris Porter goes after the shooter with a lot of authority. Tremendous athlete, and all over the court is Chris Porter. Works very, very hard at both ends of the floor. A lot of contact away from the basketball, and the foul is called on Hamilton. Hamilton, that's his first foul and first team. Cliff Ellis, the head coach, in his sixth year at Auburn University, his 25th year as a head coach in collegiate basketball. He's done a phenomenal job here at Auburn. He has really raised the bar for this program. So much so, David, that at 16 and 3, there's been a little grumbling around here that maybe Auburn hasn't played as well as they did a year ago. I tell you, you're in pretty good shape when you're 16 and 3 and the folks are getting answers. 
Jackson runs down a, a loose ball rebound. He got 18 rebounds, remember, when these two teams played 13 days ago. Yeah, you got to love Robert Jackson. A lot of heart and soul in that young man. Not great talent, but great heart and effort every time out. Antonio Jackson runs the pick and roll with Robert Jackson. Good outside shooter. Still coming back from a wrist injury. This is a nice feed inside to Jackson. Well, the pass was outstanding by Miles because he read the defense there. Njai was trying to come over the top to front. Miles threw it down on the baseline side, and it opened up Jackson for the layup. Njai over Jackson. He doesn't score much. That's a nice face-up uh, jumper from about 10 feet by Njai. And a turnover sends it back to Auburn. And Mississippi State. We talked with about the turnover. Todd Miles in the open. There's the great pass. Baseline side. Nice post up by the big fella on the block. Robert Jackson got himself open against Mamadou Injai. And there you see Todd Miles, the great assist. Third in the league in assist is Todd Miles. Nice entry pass. And a foul. Board will. This is have a three-point opportunity. That was a great entry pass by Pullman. Well, Pullman did exactly the same thing that we saw Miles do down at the other end for Mississippi State. Pullman with the baseline feed, the bounce pass. Porter is big and strong, posting up in the block. Hard to get around him, and Porter got himself open for the pass and the layup. Tang Hamilton in some early foul trouble. Already has picked up two for Mississippi State. Porter shooting 69% from the line. And it's a three-point play for the Tigers. Auburn likes to press on all made baskets, field goals, or free throws. That time it was a man-to-man -man press, full court. After one pass, they drop back into half-court man-to-man. And they force a lot of turnovers, the Auburn Tigers. Antonio Jackson. Injai saves the rebound to Porter. Doc Robinson. Porter with the floater. Great start for Porter. He's got five already for the Auburn Tigers. Yeah, Njai made the great save at the other end to get possession for the Tigers and Chris Porter with the great athletic move on the baseline. He's done that many times here for Auburn. Mississippi State scored the first basket of the game. The Tigers have reeled off seven unanswered. Niles with the penetration. Fist back, the rebound for Auburn. A lot of energy here this afternoon. The crowd that's really into it. The cliff dwellers, the student section right behind us. They really motivate the Auburn team. Pullman can shoot it from out there. Runs the pick and roll with Enjai. Still a five-point lead for the Auburn Tigers. We're in the first quarter from Auburn, Alabama. Hamilton already with two personal fouls. Going to have to be very careful on the defensive end. Quarter guard tip. And let's see. Ooh, that's close. Well, that's fortunate yeah. for Hamilton. It would have been his third. You better believe it. You know Chris Porter knew Hamilton had two fouls. He was trying to set him up to take that charge. Rick Stansbury breathes a sigh of relief. His top scorer, Tang Hamilton, came oh so close to picking up his third foul in the first four minutes of the ball game. Auburn leads it 7-2 early in the game. We'll be back. for the new LeSabre didn't just come from a research center or design facility. It also came from your family. Introducing the all-new 2000 LeSabre, re-engineered with more safety features than any other car in its class. The new 2000 LeSabre by Buick. I wonder what would happen if my beer was ever lost or stolen. I mean, how would I be able to prove it's mine? So I'm thinking... Mine's the one with the head that's exactly 2.3 fingers thick. It's the one with the color that stops sunlight dead in its tracks. 
and it's the one that never, ever tastes watered down. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I could pick my beer out of a police lineup if I had to. Ice brewed so there's never any watered down taste. Ice House. Enjoy. It's a fact. A Whopper has 40 grams of fat. It's also a fact that Subway has seven sandwiches with six grams of fat or less. That's a difference of 34 grams of fat. To burn that fat off, you could do 1,785 jumping jacks, row 3.86 miles, or just come to Subway for one of these great tasting sandwiches. Start the day with a Subway breakfast, now offered at these locations. Subway, it's the way a sandwich should be. This week's winner of the Chris Porter Lookalike Contest. <laughs> Auburn fans uh, love their basketball team, and why not? They're 45 and 7 in the last two seasons under Cliff Ellis. Look how tight things are in the Western Division after Auburn loses two in a row. Really tightens things up, LSU and Arkansas. Even 500 at 3 and 3. Mississippi State with a win today. Certainly be right back in the middle of all of it in the West. Auburn with a three-game homestand uh, coming up today, next Wednesday, and next Saturday. They've got Alabama here next Wednesday and Arkansas here next Saturday. They think they've got a chance the next three games to maybe build a lead in the SEC West. Mississippi State also at home for their next two after they play this one against Auburn. Robert foul is on number 34. You have a foul on uh, Injai. Away from the basketball again. You know, you know that Mamadou Injai is down on the block battling Robert Jackson, rem remembering the great game Jackson had against him in Starkville 13 days ago. We talked about it in the open. Mamadou's come to play today. You would think that would be a real challenge to the senior. And he was battling hard early in this ball game. 15-30 to go in the first half. Mississippi State has not scored since they got the first bucket very early. Good matchup there. Chris Porter on Tang Hamilton. A couple of all-SEC forwards. Two pretty good athletes. Miles, and it's stripped away. Hamilton in the right place at the right time. Porter went to help. Left Hamilton open. Opportunistic. The junior out of Jackson, Mississippi. Mississippi State has not played since last Saturday against Arkansas. So they've had a full week to get ready for the Auburn Tigers. On a three-point attempt. Injai battling for the rebound. Picked up by Mississippi State. Dola over the midcourt line. Pretty good shooter from out there, and the Tigers recognize that. They set a little double screen for him. Fish back. Good job getting through the screen on Goer. Jackson cutting through the Jackson once again from Jackson what a sensational pass right there by Antonio Jackson kind of a no look slingshot type pass down the baseline and Robert Jackson again with that big body he gets himself open in the lane for the easy baskets this is a full time show good hands there also to catch that tough pass along the baseline and put it in so the Bulldogs have recovered nicely after trailing 7-2. They've reeled off four unanswered points. Good meeting, don't you think? Yeah, it was great. Oh, shoot, I forgot to call the office. Oh, here, here's my phone. Oh, thanks. Alabama. Auburn, plus of 88. Oh. At Altel, get a free face plate in the colors of your favorite SEC team when you buy a Nokia 5180 digital phone. And get the colors of the game scratch card. Every card offers a prize or value. Kickbox your way to total fitness. Kick it, a knockout workout with four-time national aerobics champion Terry Reeves. It's energizing, fat-burning fun. Go three rounds with Terry and her friends. Learn the basics and enjoy a beginner workout in round one. Press for time? Take the express route and tone while you box in round two. Ready for the knockout? Round three takes you to the limit with the best total body workout you've ever had. To order the Kick It Knockout Workout, just call 1-800-599-7755 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Harry. Harry, you fell asleep in front of the TV again? I, I, I was uh, just resting my eyes. You get to the bank? Um, Forgot, didn't you? I was just on my way. 
at 1 in the morning. Uh, uh, to the computer. Auburn Bank Online. Uh, yeah. It's your lifestyle, doesn't it? Best move Auburn Bank ever made. Your best move was to Auburn Bank. What can I say? Nothing. Uh, just one question. Yes? Yeah, when we bank at home, uh -huh. and Auburn Bank is a member of FDIC, Yeah. they make us a member, too. Rest your eyes, Harry. Auburn leads Mississippi State in the first half, 7-6. to six. But the Bulldogs have scored the last four points of the game. Coming up next, the second half of our doubleheader from Gainesville, Florida. 10th-ranked Florida against number 20, Vanderbilt. The Gators looking for a little revenge. They lost to the Commodores in Nashville earlier this season. So that should be a good one in Gainesville, Florida, after this Auburn-Mississippi State showdown in the Western Division of the SEC. All five starters have come to the bench. Cliff Ellis makes a total substitution during the timeout. Well, you know, Auburn coming off of two losses at Ole Miss and a lackluster performance against Tennessee last Tuesday night in Knoxville. I think Cliff Ellis here early is trying to send a message to his team. If you're going to compete again for the SEC championship, you've got to have complete, intense effort every minute. And uh, he's got five new guys in there. They make the basket right off the start. Mac McCadney. The sophomore from Mobile, Alabama. Very aggressive play. And a foul is called on McCandney. That's his first. Well, he's coming out and making a few things happen, though, good or bad. He makes a basket and then very aggressive at the defensive end. That's what Cliff Ellis is looking for. Well, he's very active. You know, the, the bench play is something I talked with Cliff Ellis about yesterday. Last year's Auburn's bench averaged about 25 points a game. This year, only about 19. So he wants to see more production from his bench. Jay Phillips also substituted in during that timeout, turns it over. There he is, the junior from Jackson, Mississippi. Second turnover for the Mississippi State Bulldogs today. Yeah, pretty good start for this bench group. Two turnovers and a basket in a minute of, minute of play. Listen, Jamison Brewer. Marquise Daniels out of uh, Orlando, Florida. And he turns it over. Auburn's first turnover of the game. Markel Patterson. Another turnover. This one sends it back to the Tiger. The pass, but Hamilton had it rejected. Black loose, sharp shot it for Auburn. Lefty misfires, and Mississippi State lost the rebound out of bounds, so Auburn will get another chance. What great action. Jamison Brewer with the tremendous no-look pass to David Hamilton on the baseline. We'll see it here. Watch Brewer, number five, penetrating the no-look. Hamilton, watch the block here. Tyrus Boswell out of Mountain Brook High School in Birmingham with the great rejection, keeps it alive, and Auburn gets the ball on the out-of-bounds. Sharp will reset the offense for the Auburn Tigers. Mississippi State has gone to a zone. It's a flat point zone. One on the ball, they'll match up in it. Force the outside jump shot here. Sharp, a good outside shooter. Shot clock is now at seven. Great defense by State. And the ball ricochets over the top of the backboard, so the Mississippi State Bulldogs will get a good defense. That zone seemed to confuse Auburn just a bit. Well, good job by Rick Stansberry recognizing Auburn doesn't have any great outside shooters in the game with Robinson and Pullman on the bench. He goes to the zone, packs it in, forces the outside shot from Brewer. There's another freshman point guard. Mississippi State's Derek Zimmerman goes right to the basket, cuts the lead to one. I really like that young man, David. Derek Zimmerman, number 22, just a freshman out of Monroe, Louisiana. Tremendous athlete and really comes to play every night. Michael Patterson just takes it away from Sharp. Boswell watches a three. Hamilton the rebound, and he is fouled over the back. I think they gave that one to uh, Patterson. Mississippi State foul number 34. Now it's on Lincoln Smith, picks up the personal foul. It's a one-point lead for Auburn. We'll be right back. Of all the stories you've come to know, the most important by far is your own. With no other story, you care so much about how it turns out. 
Are you just waiting to see? Or are you writing it the way you want it to go? At Jefferson Pilot Financial, we're doing more than providing financial services. We're helping you write the story of your life. Do rich people deserve more space than the rest of us? Was technology meant to improve their lives alone? Do the stars shine for their eyes only? Introducing the special edition Century 2000. It's the first limited edition that isn't limited to the rich. Get a special Millennium Package offer on the special edition Century 2000. The new Century 2000 by Buick. A luxury car for everyone. Do I need my umbrella today? Call the Weatherline Forecast Service. Should I make the kids wear their jackets? Call the Weatherline Forecast Service. Should I put the top down? Call the Weatherline Forecast Service. For the very latest weather information from the WSFA Storm Team, call the Weatherline Forecast Service 24 hours a day at 323-7000. Weatherline, brought to you by Gilmore Ford in Prattville. Auburn leads Mississippi State by one, almost halfway through this first half of basketball in Auburn, Alabama. Well, who are the five best basketball players in the SEC's history? You decide. Go online at jcsports.com. Vote for the all-century team. Brought to you by Sleep In. When you vote, you may be a weekly winner of two free nights at any Sleep In, and you'll be entered to win an expense-paid two-day weekend at Kiowa Island Resort, South Carolina. You can also vote by mail. Send your selections to the address on the screen. Make your choice for the all-century team presented by Sleep In. Cliff Ellis with all five starters back in the game. The bench came off, played four minutes, maintained Auburn's position with the one-point lead. Did a nice job. Back for the first five, and this is Porter to Doc Robinson. In Jack, backing in over Smith, and a foul is pulled on the big freshman, Lincoln Smith. You know, Lincoln Smith, number 34 right there, and did a tremendous job defensively playing behind Njai, and Njai made the move to the middle, stayed with him, but reached in a little too much, caught him on the arm. Got to keep your hands straight up so there's no doubt to the official that you're not going to foul a jump shooter. Look at Mamadou's numbers there we just saw on the screen. His numbers are up in every category from a year ago. Scoring, rebounding, field goal percentage, Block shots, second in the league in defensive rebounding, having a fine year, the seven-footer from Senegal. Not a bad free throw shooter either, Joe. 69% makes one out of two on that trip. And that, court pressure from Auburn. And that put him over the 100 mark in free throw attempts on the season, which is excellent job getting himself to the foul line. Well, when you can make them, you're more inclined to Want to draw that contact and get to the line. Benji's doing a nice job all season long. Here's the freshman Zimmerman. Again, contact away from the basketball. I think we got three second call against Mississippi State. Mississippi State a little stagnant in their offense, trying to run some on-ball screens, and Lincoln Smith, the freshman, got caught. Piccadilly scoreboard. Kentucky out to an early lead in Miami. Fourth rank Syracuse leads Boston College in the second. Got Pullman. Robinson rarely turns the ball over. Here comes Porter down the lane. He is so athletic. This time he draws the foul and will go to the line to shoot two. He really looks energized today. He's been a little bit up and down this year, has Chris Porter last year's SEC player of the year but when he comes to play as he did a week or so ago against Kentucky when he went for 22 points and 10 rebounds he is tough to handle Porter two for two on the free throw line this afternoon and you see what Chris is doing in the Southeastern Conference this year. His points are a little bit down from last season. Yeah, unlike Njai, David, his numbers are down from a year ago. Points, rebounding, field goal percentages are all down. 
probably putting a lot more pressure on himself this year on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Plus, I tell you, they missed Bryant Smith, the All-SEC forward from a year ago. No question about it. What a diving move to the basket by Derek Zimmerman. That's this my, kid can fly. You got it. That's my man right there. I love this young man, Derek Zimmerman. He's got great athletic ability, a lot of energy and enthusiasm. Wasman High School, Monroe, Louisiana. He can play and uh, has great future for the Bulldogs. Wait right for his dad, Dale, in high school. Porter, short on the jumper. Boswell, the rebound for the Bulldogs. They look to tie the game or take the lead with a three. Just about what we expected, Joe, early on. Very physical basketball game. Two teams really getting after it. Well, that's right, David. Last game they played, it was 51-45. These are two very good defensive teams who are very physical. Nice shot by Jackson from underneath the rim. Second time Mississippi State's run that play on the baseline to get Robert Jackson open, but I didn't know he had that in his game. That's a nice little up and under move. Pretty nice. He's got six already. We're tied inside the 10-minute mark. Fits back to Porter, an easy bucket for Chris Porter. Mississippi State gambling a little bit to get the steal, and it wound up backfiring. You see Auburn picking up their pressure. Great job. Chris Porter, Scott Coleman, Doc Robinson, all in the denial position. Rick Stansberry trying to tell his team where to go with the inbounds pass, but the defensive possession right there gets a five-second call, and Auburn will have the ball. Another Bulldog turnover. Their fifth of the first half. Mississippi State, shooter number 21, Michael Dolan. Now here's the play we talked about. On the baseline, Mississippi State obviously has found some openings. And you see Markel Patterson with the nice bounce pass. Njai just fell asleep right there. Jackson got open for the up and under bank shot. Njai, good shot blocker, but Jackson used his body well to defend the attempt by Njai. Robinson. Three-pointer for Doc Robinson. That's his first field goal of the game. Yeah, 13 days ago in Starkville, Doc Robinson hit a three-pointer under a minute left to give Auburn a three-point lead, and he's got the ability to pull up. Watch him square his shoulders. Great rotation, great arm extension, knocks it down. We call that string music, David Steele. I hear you, Joe. <laughs> oh, I love that. His dad, uh, he was the best. I'm chop liver. I understand, David. <laughs> you probably hear that all the time. No you? question about it. Nobody could do it like him. He was uh, he was great with that. For many years, he was SEC basketball for a lot of folks. Goler, tremendous athlete. Well, they're in the lane a long time, but Boswell was able to put it in. Yeah, you like Michael Goler, too, number 21, 6'5". Does a lot of things for the state team. Doesn't score much, but the great feed in the lane right there for the easy basket. Beautiful, beautiful play by Robinson. Showing a little quickness and ability to finish at the basket. You know, one of the hardest things in basketball, shooting off the dribble. Doc Robinson does it as about as well as any player in this league. Off the bounce, pulling up and shooting those little five, eight-foot jump shots. It's almost a lost guard. It really is. Antonio Jackson. With the freshman Zimmerman, it's made a couple of things happen for the Bulldogs in this first half. They run a little weave around the, the perimeter. Tough oh, shot. Boswell got it to go. Cyrus Boswell is a young man out of Birmingham that's a sophomore. 6'7", about 215, very athletic. You saw some of his ability right there. A guy that I think can really be an outstanding player in time for Mississippi State. Well, he didn't become eligible until midway through his freshman season, so he's still pretty much a youngster out there. Gathering experience. Long three by Robinson. Left it short. Goal of the rebound. Three-point lead for the Auburn Tigers. Jackson steps back. Chris Porter found one in his lap. That's not the shot Rick Stansberry would like to see. A little bit too quick. Too much pressure by Antonio Jackson on that, on that shot. And Robert Jackson deflected it off of Enjai out of bounds, so it'll go back to Mississippi State. You've got a close game in the first half at Auburn, Alabama. The Tigers trying to snap a two-game losing streak, but the Bulldogs are giving it all they've got. 
If you're a college basketball fan, Piccadilly Cafeteria has the opportunity of a lifetime for you. The chance for you and a friend to be members of the Jefferson Pilot Sports television crew for one of the biggest college basketball tournaments in the nation. Register to win at any Piccadilly Cafeteria or send a postcard with your name, address, and phone number. The winner announced on March 4th will get an all-expense paid trip to work with J.P.'s crew during the tournament telecast in Atlanta, Georgia, March 9th through 11th. So register to win today. Good meeting, don't you think? Yeah, it was great. Oh, shoot, I forgot to call the office. Oh, here, here's my phone. Oh, thanks. Alabama? Auburn, class of 88. Oh. At Altel, get a free face plate in the colors of your favorite SEC team when you buy a Nokia 5180 digital phone. And get the colors of the game scratch card. Every card offers a prize or value. Coming up on most of these Jefferson Pilot Sports stations, Billy Donovan, version of the fun and gun, in your face, 10th ranked Florida, trying to rebound, get some revenge on the Vanderbilt Commodores. 20th ranked Commodores will again rely on the sharp shooting of Sam Howard. The SEC's leading scorer, Dan Lange. It's SEC Basketball 2000, 20th ranked Vanderbilt against number 10 Florida, the second half of our JP Sports doubleheader. That, that ought to be a good one right there. Vanderbilt really put it on the Gators a few weeks ago in Nashville. Commodores are for real, Joe. They're very good. Kevin Stallings is an outstanding coach. Dan Lange probably going to be the SEC Player of the Year, at least at this stage he's the leading candidate, but uh, they play extremely well, shoot well, but I guarantee you the O-Dome will be ready for them today. It's going to be rocking. Down in Gainesville, Florida. Auburn, some full court pressure. The Bulldogs have been forced into five turnovers already in this game. Let's see what Auburn's doing defensively. They ran this in Starkville. This is a box in one. I, I like to call it, David, a zone and chaser. Four-man zone, and they're chasing Antonio Jackson man-to-man -man with Doc Robinson. Miles looks to the bench. Rick Stansberry says, somebody get open and shoot it. So Miles says, okay. In and out. McNabby gets the rebound for the Tigers. Out right of the timeout, Cliff Ellis got just what he wanted. A little confusion by Mississippi State. And McGadney from downtown. Mac McGadney has five for the Tigers. They build a six-point lead. State's back in the same defense. Roller was drifting a little bit on that shot. Porter gets another rebound on the deflection. Tigers trying to open up some space between them and the Bulldogs here in the first half. Again, they hit one from there just a moment ago, but not this time. This time puts it back for Armour. He has done so many great things for the Auburn Tigers this year, taking up where Bryant Smith left off. And the offensive rebound right there from Fishback will get a smile from Cliff Ellis. Oswell left unguarded. McGadney making his presence felt. Three straight possessions, three straight missed shots from the outside against the Auburn boxing one defense. Your source for sports on the internet, jpsports.com, now online with a great new look, many new features. Each week we'll bring you previews of the upcoming telecast, in-depth coverage of the SEC. For the inside scoop, log on to jpsports.com. The Cliff Dwellers thoroughly enjoying themselves now. Their Auburn Tigers have moved to a 10-point lead against the Mississippi State Bulldogs, and that man right there, Chris Porter, is doing it at both ends of the floor. He really is, David. He likes to get the crowd up. He's high energy, high enthusiasm, tremendous athlete. They've sold every season ticket to Auburn basketball this year, first time in a long, long time. Cliff Ellis has these folks here in Auburn excited. And they really have picked up the pressure coming out of the timeout. Goer avoids 
the temptation to fire up another long-range shot. That's dangerous entry, and it winds up in the hands of the Tigers. Great play by McGandy coming from the weak side to knock the ball away from Robert Jackson. Six turnovers for Mississippi State now. And that'll be a foul on goal. He and Porter got tangled up. Goaler's a former football player. He was an All-State quarterback at Prentice High School in Mississippi, and we saw some of his uh, physical nature there against uh, another physical player, Chris Porter. Goaler also uh, handled the punting duties. And a uh, free safety on the defensive side of the football field, so uh, he doesn't mind mixing it up, does he? Both these teams have very good athletes, and they're strong physically. Defensively, that means tough man-to-man -man defense and not give your opponent any good looks at the basket. Traveling on Sharp. Picked up his pivot foot. The announcers for this game are selected and compensated by Jefferson Pilot Sports. Any use of this broadcast Auburn without the express the permission, of the, permission of the Southeastern Conference and Jefferson Pilot Sports is prohibited. Auburn on a 9-2 run. They have opened up a 10-point lead late in the first half here in Auburn, Alabama. They went to the zone trap that time, looking for an early trap, and they hustled back into their zone and chaser defense. Coleman now is guarding Antonio Jackson man-to-man. -man. Mississippi State has not scored against this defense in the last five possessions. Until that's then. Good one. Wide open shot and a three-pointer for Miles. Yeah, that's what you want your senior to do, and you really need a basket step up and make a big play. And they got that field goal off of an offensive rebound. Miles found himself open. Fish back behind the screen from Sharp. Goer the rebound. He'll lead the fast break for the Bulldogs. Patterson has to lead to five. And that's the other way to beat a zone defense. Get down the floor, push the ball in transition, and create some layups with your fast break. Don't let him set up in it. Backing in, no double team help. And Porter just too much to handle in the low post. Well, David, you made the right comment. No double team help left Porter isolated on the block against Robert Jackson. As good as Jackson is, he's not quick enough to handle Porter one-on-one. -on -one. Porter took him to the lane, got it in, and drew the foul. Let's take a look at it. You see the quickness by Porter and the strength to get it up to the glass. Fell in for him, a little bit of a lucky bounce. But Chris Porter again will go to the foul line as he does so often for the Auburn Tigers. You see his scoring today, Joe. He's picked up his play against Southeastern Conference teams. His numbers are up in the SEC, averaging almost 15 points a game against SEC competition. Of course, he got 25 the other night in the loss at Tennessee. But Chris Porter leading the Tigers today at home. This team is tough to handle in this Coliseum, and Porter has 12 already. Remember life in the fast lane? I do. First you meet, then you get married, and things slow down. Yeah, right. To help you keep up, drive the supercharged Regal GS Sports Sedan. Plenty of room, standard traction control, and the most power in its class. And now, Regal comes with something that'll make it even easier to drive. Regal by Buick, official car of the supercharged family. Okay, honey, how about this? I'm seeing a cabin. Are you seeing plumbing? <laughs> Imagine a big porch. Stone fireplace, plenty of room for the grandkids. When you find yourself writing the story of your life, tell it to Jefferson Pilot Financial. We'll help make it happen. My big painting of dancing bears? No. Aw. Oh. <laughs> you had me, Tilton Bear. Come on. Back at Beard Eves Coliseum on the campus of Auburn University, the Tigers rank seventh in the nation, lead the Mississippi State Bulldogs 29 to 21 late in the first half. Take a look at the Piccadilly scoreboard. Kentucky, just a one-point lead against Miami. That's the first half score 
in the second, Syracuse has opened up a 17-point lead on Boston College. Of course, Leonard Hamilton, the coach at Miami, was a longtime assistant at the University of Kentucky. He's and done a great job down in South Florida. Tremendous job. You know this is an emotional game today for him. Great recruiter at the University of Kentucky, and he's gotten some great players to come to Miami. Against the pressure, the Bulldogs are pressured into turning it over. For the seventh time in the first half. You saw Cliff Ellis do a little dance over there. He called his own trap in the timeout. It worked effectively because it forced Mississippi State to rush. Rick Stansberry wants them to settle down and show a little bit more poise when they break down the press. See the turnovers. Only four for Auburn. Injured. Well defended. Good job by the freshman Lincoln Smith to force Injai into a tough shot. Coleman almost had the steal. Miles recovered. Markel Patterson. And there was a foul on the pass off as Sharp got him on the way to the basket. Good penetration by Markel Patterson. Young man out of Eupora, Mississippi. Played for his dad in high school. And uh, he's been out a couple of games with a bad ankle. They're glad to have him back today because he brings them a 6'4 player who can put it on the floor, shoot the jump shot, and he's an excellent defensive player as well. Here's Patterson with the ball off the inbound. He'll try one from three-point range. Injai grabs the rebound for the Tigers. Injai not a threat to pull the trigger from out there. At least Cliff Ellis hopes not. But Gabby in the lane. Tough rebound. And a foul against Njai as Billups mixing up with the big folks in the paint. Second foul on Mamadou Njai. One of four seniors on Cliff Ellis's Auburn team. All four are going to earn their degrees. Njai, an international business major. Mamadou Njai actually speaks about four languages. He's a very intelligent young man. And at seven feet, it'll be interesting, David, as we talk. Will he be able to play in the NBA? Uh, he can block shots and do a lot of the things the NBA people like. Well, I don't think there's any question about it with that kind of size and athleticism. Injai can play at the next level. Certainly is going to get an opportunity. Coleman, usually deadly from the three-point line. And we have a foul on the rebound. I think it'll go against... Uh, McGadney, right. Mississippi State got away with one there. They went to the zone on that transition. Didn't cover up Scotty Pullman from the corner. He normally would be dead eye there, but on the miss, good job rebounding by T.J. Phillips to get that foul. Pullman still no field goals in the first half, but his Tigers lead by eight. State is still in that zone with a chaser man-to-man. -man. Pullman on Derek Zimmerman, number 22. Take the ball out of the guy that generally makes plays for you. That's exactly. not a bad strategy. Eliminate one guy from the offense. Patterson. And they travel. Tough break there. Lincoln Smith and Michael Gold are working hard trying to get the rebound, but got tied up with each other, and that normally will be a walking call. Eight turnovers in the first half. A good look at Markel Patterson. Good looking jump shooter. Doesn't get this one. And good hustle by Lincoln Smith and Michael Golder, but. Didn't recognize who, who they were tied up with, and the official called the travel. Still an eight-point lead for Auburn. Foreman still scoreless. Hamilton inside to Fishback, and a foul on Mississippi State. Fishback will shoot two. Zimmerman picks up his second personal. Coleman continues to struggle somewhat from the perimeter for Auburn, the junior who had a great season last year when, SC, when Auburn made their run to the SEC championship. There you see him. 28 points he had in the second round NCAA win over Oklahoma State. But this year, down to about 32% from three-point range. Just has not made the baskets as consistently this year as he did a year ago. Fishback, a 64% free throw shooter. This is the first of two. Another senior on this ball club. Oh, shit. And it's 
still an eight-point lead for the Tigers after Damian Fishback misses two on the line. That's a national epidemic, David, free throw shooting. Nobody shoots free throws well anymore, it doesn't seem like. This is field goal number 24. It's hard to explain, Markel isn't it? Markel Patterson. Patterson found the open spot on the baseline against that zone and chaser defense. Got the nice pass from Michael Goler and laid it in. Good execution that time. That's the first time that Mississippi State has been able to get an easy basket against the zone and chaser. Yeah, they've been tough to come by in the last five or six minutes. Six-point game again. Good uh, response by Mississippi State. A lot of holding, pushing, shoving away from the ball. The referee's letting them play today. Gabby. Battle for the rebound, and a nice save by the Bulldog. Patterson saved it to Zimmerman. Here comes the freshman in the open floor. What a count it had it gone. And the Bulldogs are going to have a chance to cut the lead to four. You really got to like Derek Zimmerman. He, uh, he just brings an energy. You see him talking. He's a freshman. He's telling them what to do defensively on the next possession. But he brings that energy and enthusiasm to the team off the bench, which is what you want a bench player to do. And that time he got it to uh, T.J. Phillips on the break. You see T.J. Phillips on the line, the first free throw for Mississippi State this afternoon. Of course, Phillips was a high school teammate of Tang Hamilton, Lanier High School in Jackson, Mississippi. T.J.'s dad, Thomas, was the coach. Left over from the Final Four team. He was a freshman on the 96-97 Final Four ball club. Richard uh, Williams, the head coach then. Rick Stansbury, an assistant coach at that time. Thought Richard Williams was going to be at this game today. Cliff Ellis had invited him to come up, but the weather being the way it is here in the south with the snow we had here yesterday, uh, I guess he and Diane decided to stay at their palatious estate in Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. You can't blame him for that on a day like today. Phillips, one out of two on the line. Good crowd here. We thought there would be a lot of empty seats, and there certainly are more than uh, you would expect in a big SEC game like this, but considering the weather outdoors, not a surprise. Late in the first half, Bulldogs are hanging with the Auburn Tigers. Pick and roll is... Robinson fired the jump. That's a three-pointer for Robinson. And a tough shot under heavy pressure, but Doc Robinson's been doing it all year for Auburn. That's the end of the at the buzzer, and that is the end of the first half. That is a big shot by Robinson at the end of the quarter. Porter with 12 points in the first half of the game. And Auburn leads by eight. 32 to 24 is our halftime score from Auburn, Alabama. We'll be right back. SEC Basketball is brought to you by the new Regal GS by Buick, official car of the supercharged family. By Alltel, the power to simplify. And by Jefferson Pilot Financial, complete financial planning and life insurance. We're helping you write the story of your life. Get a free face plate in the colors of your favorite SEC team when you buy a Nokia 5180 digital phone. And get the colors of the game scratch card. Every card offers a prize or value. The Southeastern Conference, setting the standard. Unprecedented year in athletic and academic achievements. Twelve member institutions committed to excellence and the promise of the future. The Southeastern Conference, where champions are made. You know, you can't accept less from life. Because then you'll accept less from your work. And then you'll accept less from your weekends. And the next thing you know, you'll accept less from your beer. And you just can't accept less from your beer. Because then you'll start accepting less from guys who install satellite dishes. And you might lose reception during an important football game. And hey, that's just wrong. 
Ice brewed so there's never any watered down taste. Ice House. Enjoy. During Suncom's ultimate trade-in event, we'll take just about anything as a trade-in for a $100 service credit on airtime or other items. Ryan, get your brother. <laughs> Maybe I should trade you in. Ryan, it's a good deal. See store for details. Little brother's not eligible for trade-in. Jefferson Pilot Sports presents the SEC Good Works team, recognizing the superior community service efforts of league basketball players. Today's honoree is forward Tang Hamilton of Mississippi State University. Tang gives much of his time visiting young children at Starkville area elementary schools and learning centers. Jefferson Pilot Sports is proud to salute Tang Hamilton for being named a member of the SEC Good Works team. Well, it's halftime in Auburn, Alabama. Frigid day outside and uh, things heating up in the first half of this one as the Auburn Tigers lead the Mississippi State Bulldogs 32 to 24. Mississippi State hanging in there quite nicely, Joe. I tell you, there was a moment about uh, eight minutes to go in the first half when it looked like Auburn might start running away with it, but uh, Rick Stansbury's club did a nice job recovering. They really did. Auburn did a great job with their zone and chaser defense. About five or six possessions there. Mississippi State couldn't get a good look at the basket, but they hung in, and of course, at the end of the half, Doc Robinson with the big three. Same thing he did at the end of the first half in start, but when he stole the ball from Todd Miles and went and laid it in, he makes big plays when they really need him. Robinson, of course, hit the big three against uh, the Mississippi State Bulldogs just two Five. weeks ago in Starkville at the end of the game. Well, it's time to take a look at the plays of the week from the Southeastern Conference. Let's take a look. Back up top for Hicks, and he throws it down. Cotton, nice pass to Haggis for the jam. Very well. Wobs into the corner. Bogans out to Tayshawn, who takes it oh, and breaks the three. What a shot. Victor throws it up and in at the buzzer. Johnson. Nice. Coleman, the three. Yes. <laughs> Once again, some great action in the past week uh, out of the Southeastern Conference. We've had some big plays made today here by both of these basketball teams. What about the matchup we talked about in the beginning? Chris Porter, Tang Hamilton, two of the top players in the Southeastern Conference. Not that they're always head-to-head, -head, but uh, you're always looking for big things from your top guy. How to go in the first half, Joe? David, that's right. Uh, Chris Porter, 12 points in the first half. He came to play today. A lot of energy and enthusiasm he brings to the Auburn team. Tang Hamilton, on the other hand, only two points in the first half. He was only one for eight in the earlier meeting in Starkville and again today he's struggling against the Auburn defense. Well Mississippi State's going to need him no question in the second half of this game if they're going to make a run at the Auburn Tigers here at home having won 26 straight they're tough here in this building. It's time to take a look at the Buick player of the week in the Southeastern Conference. The SEC player of the week is presented by Buick and your local Buick dealers. Kentucky senior center Jamal McGlure put up huge numbers in leading the 18th ranked Cats to a pair of SEC wins. For the week, he averaged 21 points, 14 rebounds, and two blocks. McGlure also connected on 15 of his 24 shots from the field. That's Wildcats center Jamal McGlure, our Buick Player of the Week. All right, Jamal McGlure, big for the Kentucky Wildcats in the past week, and that Wildcat basketball team, now 5-1 in the SEC and 14-5 and overall. Big game for these two clubs in the Western Division, the Auburn Tigers, 4-2 and two in the conference. They need to snap a two-game losing streak. Mississippi State trying to hang in there with the number seven team in the country. Bye-bye. <laughs> 
Now the things you like find you. E-Tour brings you sites that match your interests. So you can surf without searching. Chick-fil-A has always been committed to helping people achieve their goals in life. One way Chick-fil-A accomplishes this is by providing scholarships, helping students in their quest for higher education. In fact, Chick-fil-A has awarded over three quarters of a million dollars in scholarships to support students attending Southeastern Conference schools. The SEC is also committed to helping people achieve their goals, and that is why Chick-fil-A is proud to be an official partner with the Southeastern Conference. The life of a Southeastern Conference student athlete can be a long, hard road with plenty of ups and downs along the way. We at Greyhound are proud to sponsor the SEC. And now with our support of the youth sports clinics, we hope to make the road easier from the beginning. Greyhound salutes the SEC student athletes, and we wish them well on their road to a championship. Greyhound and the SEC, together we're on the move. Advance Auto Parts presents the best play of the week in the SEC. We go to Oxford, where Ole Miss was on the brink of upsetting Auburn. The Rebels fired a shot in overtime, but missed. Latero Williams grabbed the offensive rebound and put it back in for two and the lead. Ole Miss hung on and beat number four Auburn behind a great offensive rebound. That's the Advance Auto Parts best play of the week. Back in Auburn, Alabama, the Auburn Tigers lead the Mississippi State Bulldogs 32 to 24 is the score at the end of the first half. Mississippi State fell to the Auburn Tigers just 13 days ago in Starkville, Mississippi. That was a six-point finish. Went right down to the last couple of minutes, Joe. And the Bulldogs, if they're going to take Auburn to the wire here today, they're going to have to take better care of the basketball and get more scoring from their top two offensive players. Well, David, that's right. Scoring is the key for Mississippi State. You know, in the last game, they only had 12 field goals in the whole game. They have 11 field goals at halftime today, but only one of nine from three-point range, and their top two scorers, as you mentioned, Tang Hamilton has one basket. Antonio Jackson doesn't have a field goal in the game. Those two guys really got to step it up here in the second half. Give Auburn's defense a lot of credit for that. They are really making life tough on the folks, especially out on the perimeter for the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Let's take a look at some other scores in the SEC, uh, a battle of an SEC and a Big East team. The Kentucky Wildcats, a 10-point lead against Miami. That is a halftime score. Hurricanes 12 and 7 under Lemon Hamilton. And uh, in the Atlantic Coast Conference, Maryland leads Florida State in the first 17 to 11. Right here in Auburn, Alabama, it's the Tigers, an eight point lead against the Bulldogs of Mississippi State. We'll be back with the second half in just a moment. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more Autocraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 Accord? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Kickbox your way to total fitness. Kick it, a knockout workout with four-time national aerobics champion Terry Reeves. It's energizing, fat-burning fun. Go three rounds with Terry and her friends. Learn the basics and enjoy a beginner workout in round one. Press for time? Take the express route and tone while you box in round two. Ready for the knockout? Round three takes you to the limit with the best total body workout you've ever had. To order the Kick It Knockout Workout, just call 1-800-599-7755 or send check or money order to the address on your screen. Mississippi State, one of America's top 100 research universities, provides leadership in scientific agriculture. Our researchers work with corporations such as Monsanto and Delta and Pineland to design genetically improved cotton that protects itself from insects and resists disease. Mississippi State biotechnology research reduces the need for chemical insecticides, and that benefits farmers and the environment. Mississippi State University, providing leadership for the 21st century. Imagine what you want. Now get it. With the new Bell South Personal Picks offer, you pick the reward that's right for you. It's just what I was looking for. Pick cash back or free software worth over $100. Get creative with family fun software or design business materials with home office software. 
Call 1-800-826-6228 to pick from these Bell South phone or internet services. Then pick your award. Go up, boys, mail, cut out. Scrumptious. Don't miss this limited time offer. Wellers, student section just behind us here courtside at Beard Eves Coliseum, and they are loving it right now because their Tigers have an eight-point lead against the Bulldogs of Mississippi State, and uh, they're trying to get off the schneid a little bit. They've lost their last two. The Auburn basketball team ranked still seventh in the country. Let's take a look at first-half stats, Joe. Well, they're pretty even, as you see, uh, both teams. Of course, Auburn with the eight-point lead, but the shooting is pretty uh, close. Rebounding is close. Turnovers are close. The difference is really the three-point field goal shooting. Auburn with three of eight. Mississippi State only one of nine. All right, Mississippi State getting good production from its bench in the first half. Hamilton and Jackson going to have to step it up in the second half for the Bulldogs. We'll be back. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more Autocraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 Accord? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Why are business travelers choosing sleep in? The welded grounds? The electronic locks? The walk-in showers? Complimentary breakfast? because it's a place that understands the needs of the business traveler. It's all those things, plus the service. Hey, knock it off. Is incredible. If you're traveling on business, stay at Sleep In, in a class by itself. Auburn University researchers have designed and patented a microchip that will enable airbag systems to react 1,000 times faster during an accident, making them smarter, more reliable, and most importantly, safer. This is Jared. He weighed 425 pounds. Inspired by Subway's low-fat sandwiches, he invented a diet of his own, one he called the Subway Diet. At the heart of his diet was Subway's turkey breast sub, a foot-long veggie, and lots of walking. Today, Jared weighs 190 pounds. We're not saying his diet is right for you. You should talk to your doctor first. But it is food for thought. Subway, the way a sandwich should be. SEC Basketball is being brought to you by Sleep In. The next time you travel, stay at Sleep In in a class by itself. By Advance Auto Parts, the best part is our people. By Piccadilly Cafeteria, who says you can't please everybody. And by Jefferson Pilot Financial. Complete financial planning and life insurance. We're helping you write the story of your life. Go online with the Southeastern Conference at secsports.com. This interactive site features up-to-date statistics as well as cybercast coverage of conference events throughout the year. Fans can also shop at the SEC Superstore. Don't miss all the action at secsports.com. We are ready to start the second half in Auburn, Alabama with the Tigers leading the Bulldogs of Mississippi State 32-24. to And Auburn undefeated when they lead going into the second half they are 16 and 0. Auburn starts back straight man to man here to start the second half. Miles matched up with Pullman. Jackson against Robinson. Zoller can't find a shot. Here's the guy that to step it up, and he misses his first shot of the second half. Tang Hamilton, Chris with one field goal. You're right, Chris Porter is on him, very athletic, causing Hamilton problems. Porter and Porter wearing him out. Well, they set up the high low, brought in. 
spin shot at the top of the key. That eliminates all help side in the lane. The lob pass over the top gave Porter the dunk. Biggest lead for the Auburn Tigers. Hamilton cannot pull it in, and Auburn gets the ball back. Tang Hamilton just struggling right now. Here you see the high-low action with Njai, the lob pass over Hamilton, and Porter with the finish. Using Porter's great athleticism, he now has 14 points to lead all scorers. Did not get the ball in to Porter that time. Shot clock is at 15. Now Porter turns, shoots quickly. Kohler rebounds for the Bulldogs. Miles crossover, the runner. Too strong. Hamilton runs it down in the corner for Mississippi State. Still having problems putting it in the basket, and we have a foul. Doc Robinson, I think, is going to pick up his second personal. Don't forget, coming up after the Auburn-Mississippi State game from the O'Connell Center in Gainesville on the campus of the University of Florida, the Gators against the Vanderbilt Commodores, two top 20 teams. Nice little set play there on the out-of-bounds by Rick Stansberry. Got Robert Jackson open down on the baseline. The bounce pass gave him the layup. Auburn had nothing they could do there but foul. Send Jackson to the line. Bulldogs from the free throw line in the first half only shot two. Here's Jackson's first free throw of the game. Mamadou Njai with three fouls, David. Remember, in the game 13 days ago in Starkville, Njai fouled out of that game, and after he fouled out, Jackson went on a tear, scoring and rebounding, and actually gave Mississippi State the lead late. So we'll have to keep an eye on Njai's foul situation. Bulldogs led in that game with 3.38 to play in the second half. Wound up losing it. Auburn storming back to the big three-pointers by Robinson and Porter. Mississippi State has primarily been man-to-man -man the whole game. A couple of possessions of zone, but their tough, aggressive man-to-man -man is their bread-and-butter defense. That was uh, the first rebound. The second rebound, first of the second half for Jackson. He had 18 two weeks ago. Yeah, Njai's done a better job on him in this game today. That's Antonio Jackson with the rebound for the Bulldog. Long pass up the floor to Golan. It's clear to me that Rick Stansberry talked to his team at halftime about pushing the ball down the floor, trying to beat the good Auburn defense down and get some easy looks at the basket. It's been tough for Mississippi State in a half-court offense. Miles finds an open shot. Auburn went under the screen, but Miles couldn't make him pay as Injai gets the rebound. His fourth rebound of the afternoon. Pullman got Jackson off his feet, lets it fly. Yeah, got Pullman for two. Nice job right there. Just the ball fake got Jackson up, one bounce around him, squared the shoulders and knocked down the jump shot. An 11-point lead for the Tigers. The recovery by Porter, he came right into the passing lane and tipped it to Enjai. Mississippi State is in a, in a hurry-up mode on offense, clearly trying to push the ball down and get some early looks in their possessions. Jackson to rejection. Porter came back towards it, but he had already run uh, to the other end of the floor. He thought he had made it. He thought when it left his hands it was in, and so he started back down the other end. Jackson fouled on the shot by Njai, and Mamadou picks up his fourth personal. Well, I tell you, that's huge right now with Auburn and an 11-point lead situation. David Hamilton is going to come in the game for Cliff Ellis, and we'll see if Mississippi State can make some hay with Njai on the bench. Here's Jackson with the jump shot. Clearly, Njai on the wrist. You just can't reach in toward the shooter. Officials are taught to protect shooters in college basketball. With his team up by 11, no need to make a serious challenge on that shot by Robert Jackson that far away from the basket, so not a good foul for Njai. Especially as Mike LaPlante, the assistant, tells Njai, the scouting report would say, we'll let Jackson shoot from the outside. He's not a great outside shooter. Put a hand up, but that's about it. 
and Jackson buries two free throws. So Mississippi State cuts the lead back to nine. See Mike LaPlante right there, the assistant coach, who actually coached NJ in a in a prep school up in Maine, brought him here to Auburn four years ago, telling him about using his head defensively and, and keeping his hands straight up, especially on a guy like Robert Jackson, who's not a great perimeter shooter. Quarter. There's it. Number 24 is put in by Hamilton. That's big for Auburn right there with Njai out. Hamilton's got to step up. Not a great shooter, but the nice jump hook there. And Mississippi State answers Boswell now with six for the Bulldogs. And you can see it clearly what State's doing. Pushing it, running, try to get in the early look. Boswell ran the floor well that time and got the layup before Auburn could set their defense. Porter just jumping over everybody, but that one he left short. Go with the rebound. Goal's got eight rebounds in this game. Miles left open for three. Hamilton kept it alive for Mississippi State. Pullman saved it, but it's recovered by Miles of the Bulldog. Hamilton. And a blocking foul is called on Auburn. Fishback picks up the personal. Great action there. Pullman dove over the scorer's table to save it. Fishback trying to draw this foul. Couldn't get it. Got a hustle by both of these basketball teams. They are really going at one another today in Auburn, Alabama. The Tigers lead the Bulldogs 38-29. Pullman giving up his body. I'm Reggie White. In all my life, I've had to be tougher than the next guy. After all, it takes a strong, powerful man to do what I do for a living. But I believe it takes even a bigger man to ask for help when life's problems get to be too much. But what's guided me through life's turbulent times has been my personal relationship with God. It's given me hope, it's given me peace, it's given me happiness. If life sometimes gets you down, if it just seems too much at times, there's a book that can start you on your way to a personal relationship with God. It's called Power for Living, and it's an incredible book. It's honest, easy to read, and tells it like it is in helping you get your life back on track. Power for Living, it can show you how to cope with the everyday problems that plague us all. For your free copy of Power for Living, call toll-free 1-800-442-8888. There's no obligation. Call now for your free copy of Power for Living. Call now to start your personal relationship with God. Welcome to the Alabama Shakespeare Festival, Montgomery's treasure and the South's best-kept secret. For over 25 years, ASF has produced the best in classical and contemporary theater. On stage at ASF is Forever Plaid from January 11th through February 13th. In the Octagon from January 18th through February 20th is A Lesson Before Dying. Alabama Shakespeare Festival in Montgomery, five minutes from Interstate 85. Call 1-800-841-4ASF-NOW for show dates and times. Auburn Tigers are led by as many as 11. Mississippi State has cut the lead to seven with 15-23 to play in the basketball game. Njai on the bench with four personal fouls. We'll see if Mississippi State can take advantage of the lack of his inside presence. The Bulldogs only one for eight shooting in the second half. Defenses are really prevalent in this game as they were in Starkville 13 days ago. Both teams very good defensively in the half court, causing four field goal shooting. That's a tough shot by Todd Miles coming back from the broken wrist. You see that tape on his right wrist. He missed three games earlier in the SEC ski, uh, season, so he's still kind of rounding himself back into his game. Coleman off the screen. Hamilton the rebound for Mississippi State. an offensive rebound. Porter hits the deck. No foul. Hamilton puts it in. That's only his second field goal of the day. Yeah, good no call right there by the officials on the baseline. Porter with a little acting job fell down. Tang Hamilton stayed with it. He needs to step up offensively for the Bulldogs here. They cut it to five with Njai out of the game. And a bad pass by Pullman picked off by Hamilton. Tang Hamilton back-to-back -back buckets for the Bulldogs. And it's a three-point lead for Auburn. 
Njai went out of the game with an 11-point Auburn lead, and with his absence, the Bulldogs have pulled a three here. And Mamadou's going to have to sit for a long time. We still have 13.45 left. And Robert Jackson's not in the game either. Rick Stansberry has gone with a much quicker athletic lineup here. They finally forced the ball inside of one of their big fellows, and that's Hamilton. Back out to Robinson. The three is no good. Two on one fast break. Patterson receives it beautifully from Miles. That is textbook, David Steele. Textbook fast break basketball. The long rebound by the Bulldogs got the layup at the other end. Mississippi State has cut the lead to one. They trailed by 11 just a few moments ago. Well, Tang Hamilton just simply playing the passing lane against Chris Porter, made the steal with those long arms, finished at the other end, and then watch the fast break off the long rebound. This is Markel Patterson, Todd Miles, gives it back at just the right time, laid it in. That's the way you play fast break basketball in the SEC. And that's what uh, Rick Stansberry wanted his team to do in the second half. They're floundering in the half court offensively, and because they're able to get out and run a little bit now, they've gone on a 10 to two run in the last three minutes and five seconds. There's no question that's what he told them at halftime because they have come out here really showing speed and pushing the ball as quickly down the floor as they can. And now out of the timeout, Jackson is back in the game to plug up the middle, and Mississippi State has gone to a zone defense down by one. It's a great combination at Auburn University. But what he did, he slipped in behind Jackson on the baseline where Robert Jackson could not see him, got himself open. Patterson was late getting there defensively, and Porter had the easy layup. Big basket for Auburn. They needed to stop the momentum. They go into a trapping defense. Phillips inside the Jackson. No foul. Porter may have gotten a piece of it. Robinson. And a rare Robinson turnover. He threw it a little bit too far for McGadney. Well, you know, the energy there. Robinson just over-enthusiastic. Got the great block from Porter. He wanted to run down. As you see here, him getting the dunk against the Mississippi State zone the play before. Hamilton went for the steal. Phillips had it stripped by Porter. Auburn leads by three. Porter is an underrated defensive player. Great block the play before right there. Came across the lane and stopped that drive. He plays hard, Joe. That's a tough shot. Rattles in and out. Tough break. And a whistle. And a foul, I think, is uh, going to be called on Porter. Trying to get the ball back. He was frustrated that that jump hook didn't go in for him. I tell you, you just got to love him. He is just all over the floor on both ends. Going to the board, playing defense, taking the ball to the glass. Chris Porter just shows tremendous, tremendous energy for the Auburn Tigers, and that's why he's such a great player. 15 foul on Auburn in the second half. We're at the 12.05 mark. Auburn back to the zone again. Kind of a strange-looking defense with Reggie Sharp in the middle of the zone. He's floating around in there, clogging yeah. things up. Boswell jumps over everyone. Hamilton rebounds for Auburn. He's got six boards this afternoon. Good job off the bench by David Hamilton. The kid out of Compton, California. Porter looks in at Hamilton. Three seconds. That's three seconds. Thank you, right, Joe. Ooh, they caught him with the foul. Oh. Got away with it. Robert Jackson's asking the official the question, how long does he get to stand in there? Rick Stansberry wants to know the same question. What's well, tough to hold off a big kid like uh, Hamilton that long, and uh, Jackson says give me a break in there i'm doing the, the best i can that's a big young fella 6'9 255 hamilton but the foul on jackson auburn leads by three and a good one advanced auto parts presents part number 16. larry our battery expert larry installs more autocraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime no matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 Accord? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. Why are business travelers choosing sleep-in? The welded grounds? The electronic locks?
The walk-in showers, complimentary breakfast, because it's a place that understands the needs of the business traveler. It's all those things, plus the service. Hey, knock it off. Is incredible. If you're traveling on business, stay at Sleep In, in a class by itself. Next, all new Rosie. He'll make you laugh. You think I'm a clown? He'll make you cry. I cried my freaking eyes out. <laughs> Will they get on a ship and it hits an iceberg? Uh, sorry, Nathan. Wrong movie. Plus, from the two of us, the very Irish and very cute. Aiden Quinn. And from Third Watch, Bobby Cannavale. Next, Rosie. And don't miss it. Thursday on Rosie, it's Madonna. Monday morning at 11 on WSFA. Seventh-ranked Auburn led by 11 early in the second half, but Mississippi State has put on a run. They cut it to one, now trail by three. Well, do you want to talk SEC basketball? We've got the place for you. Go online at jpsports.com. Connect to the SEC Game of the Week chat room. Brought to you by Jefferson Pilot Financial. The chat room is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. SEC Game of the Week chat room presented by JP Financial. Mike Robinson inbounding it. Out to Sharp at midcourt. They can go back over and get it, so Sharp does. Three-point lead for the Tigers. Reggie Sharp to Doc Robinson around the wing to McGadney. That's just a, a careless turnover there. Unforced mistake by Auburn. Only their seventh turnover. They've done a good job by and large, but uh, that's what Cliff Ellis could do without. You better believe it. He won't like that at all. Mississippi State went to a simple zone right there, and McGadney, uh, I think he was trying to throw it to Cliff Ellis. And he was open. <laughs> Zimmerman gave them a spark in the first half. Patterson cuts into the middle of that zone and pulls it back out. Zimmerman out of the corner for three. That's my ties man. the score at 40. That's my man, the freshman out of Monroe, Louisiana. Derek Zimmerman's tied this game. Only 28% from the arc, but he shot that one very comfortably. Game tied for the first time since 12-12. Sharp penetrates in, brings it back out to McGadney. Mac McGadney, good lift off the bench for Auburn. He's got seven. Yeah, Mac McGadney's a nice spot-up shooter out of LaFleur High School in, Mo in Mobile, Alabama. And doing a good job for Auburn off the bench. Tigers back in the lead, almost halfway through the second half in Auburn, Alabama. Auburn straight man-to-man -man here. Mixing it up. Patterson had it knocked away by Hamilton. Taylor yeah. steals it. Robinson picks up the loose ball. He was determined to get that ball on the glass. Reggie Sharp with the left hand. Stop and pop off the board. Porter got it going with his steal. Now four-point lead. Patterson. Missing badly. Jackson follows it up and in. Robert Jackson, 11 points in the game for the sophomore from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. What he does is expose himself to the board on every shot. Get to the glass and hope the ball comes your way. That time it fell right in his lap, and he laid it in. It's an answer for Auburn. Off the dribble, got a screen up top, and as we said earlier, he's a great shooter off the dribble. Quick shot by Antonio Jackson and a foul against Mississippi State on the rebound. It's on Markel Patterson. That's his first. That was a quick shot by Mississippi State. And the ball comes right back to the Tigers who now have a four-point lead after the game was tied. Some other scores. Uh, Miami now has gone on top of Kentucky in the second half. Syracuse beat Boston College. And Maryland leads Florida State by 14. Auburn has gone small now. Cliff Ellis took David Hamilton out of the game. And uh, right now, McGadney at 6'7", Porter at 6'6". 
the biggest players for all. Holman back in, misfires, McGadney just out, hustling everybody to the loose ball. He's all over the floor, Mac McGadney. That's his fourth rebound. We'll set it up again with a four-point lead. Sharp forced it in there, but uh, McGandy picked it up. We've got a holding foul on Jackson, I think. That'll be his third. Well, the big fella has uh, a bit of foul difficulty himself. Njai is on the bench with four personal fouls. He's been there since about the 15-minute mark of the second half. And as long as Cliff Ellis's team is ahead in this game, he'll leave Njai on the bench. Probably bring him back inside of five minutes. Robert Jackson with his third foul has got to be a little bit careful. But he knows on the road in a tough environment, he's got to play all out to have a chance to win. Goler and Miles returned during the dead ball for Mississippi State. State zoning on the out of bounds. Really working hard to get the ball into Porter, but Mississippi State's doing a good job on him inside. Jackson's on him. Almost man-to-man. -man. Porter came all the way out to try and get the ball and wound up setting a screen for Sharp. Reggie Sharp, I tell you, a former walk-on, transferred here from West Georgia, a Division II program. He has worked hard and made himself a good basketball player. Big shot right there. Only a second three-point field goal in SEC competition. Hamilton almost dribbled it away. Auburn has really picked things up in this man-to-man -man defense. You see the shot clock. Hamilton launches a long three. Miles rejected by Porter. And the ball goes out of bounds. I think it'll be Mississippi State basketball. Let's see. Now the officials aren't sure. They're going to confer. They give it to Auburn. Great play by Porter. What a tremendous athletic play by Chris Porter. Well, those are the kind of plays that have made him the SEC Player of the Year. And, and again, he does it on both ends. That time with the block. Off the miss. Tremendous play. Auburn by seven. Why are business travelers choosing sleep in? The well-lit grounds? The electronic locks? The walk-in showers, complimentary breakfast, because it's a place that understands the needs of the business traveler. It's all those things, plus the service. Hey, knock it off. Is incredible. If you're traveling on business, stay at Sleep In, in a class by itself. Advance Auto Parts presents part number 16. Larry, our battery expert. Larry installs more Autocraft batteries in a day than most people do in a lifetime. No matter what you drive, Larry will make sure you get the right battery for your car. 92 a quart? Yeah. Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. hooked up earlier this season, 13 days ago. It was a classic. Damian Fishback got the Tigers off to a quick, quick lead, but Antonio Jackson led the Bulldogs to a second-half lead. Then Auburn seniors took over. Doc Robinson nailed a three-pointer to put the Tigers back on top. And then All-American, Chris Porter sank another three. That put a dagger in the Bulldogs' hearts. Auburn won the game 51-45. That was 13 days ago in Starkville, Mississippi. Auburn playing at home today. And they carry a 26-game home court winning streak, fourth best in college basketball, into this one against Mississippi State. Well, Cliff Ellis has developed this Auburn basketball program into a top-10 program nationally, something that a lot of people never thought could happen, quite frankly. You know, last year, 1999, they won the outright SEC championship. It was only the second time in the history of Auburn basketball that they had won an SEC title the first time in 1960 under Joel Eves. Well, she had great success at Clemson, took them to the Sweet 16, had good success at South Alabama. He's been a, an outstanding coach for 25 years in this business. Coleman inside the Porter. And it'll work. 
time late in the second half. Chris Porter taking over. It's just the quickness he's got inside. Robert Jackson just can't stay with Chris Porter around the basket. 18 points for Porter. Auburn on an 11-2 run. Good defense by Fisback on goal. Miles against Reggie Sharp. Pick and roll to Jackson. Inside to Hamilton. Traveling. But we're going to have a conference. Yeah, he, David Dodge is going to be overruled here by Carlos Reyes, the outside official who I think had a foul before the travel. That's a good job of officiating right there. Sometimes an official's blocked out in his view of the play, and he can't see fouls that may cause a traveling situation, and that's what happened there. Of course, Cliff Ellis talking to the third member of the, of the crew, Tom Eads, pleading his case. And Cliff Ellis, who uh, would like to be a fourth member of the crew right now, not real happy with the explanation. His team leads by nine as Hamilton steps to the free throw line. Let's see if we can see exactly what happened. You see Robert Jackson right there to Hamilton. They call the travel on Hamilton, but apparently he got pushed before the travel, and the official from behind the play came in and overruled David Dodge, who was in front of the play. Hamilton makes both free throws. He has uh, six of his eight points in the second half. So Hamilton has come to life a bit here in the second half. Mississippi State needed for that to happen. Holman checks out of the game. And you know, we had a controversial call right before the break uh -huh. where the ball was knocked out. Apparently by Auburn, they gave Auburn the ball. Point being, David, controversial calls have a way of balancing themselves out. No question. That's a holding call on Michael Goler. He says, what about at the other end of the floor when Fishback had his hands all over me? <laughs> well, Goler not happy about that one. He picks up his second. Players rarely think they ever foul. <laughs> Porter takes the inbound and again seven point lead for Auburn approaching the six minute mark in the fourth quarter Fishback he's done it all year for Auburn Damian Fishback the senior out of Bowling Green Kentucky has been the most consistent three point shooter for the Tigers this year Tigers build the lead back to double digits. That's their fifth three-point field goal of the afternoon. Jackson to Jackson. McGadney defended it well and then got the rebound. That's his fifth rebound of the game. Porter pushed in the back by Robert Jackson. That's his fourth personal foul. Bulldogs foul. Well, we talked about the senior Damian Fishback who stepped in for departed Bryant Smith, knocking down the three right there. He's shooting about 38% on the SEC season, and his father, Charlie Fishback, played for Cliff Ellis over 20 years ago at U uh, in Lebanon, Tennessee at uh, Union University. So they've got ties going way back. Jackson has to come to the bench. Actually, and, uh, Cumberland University. Cumberland in Kentucky. Cumberland University. It's in Lebanon, Tennessee. That's, Lebanon? that's where it is. Charlie Fishback actually played there when it was a junior college. And now, of course, Cliff Ellis is coaching his son, Damian. Want to get our facts straight. Porter, meanwhile, a tough break. And this will be Porter. I don't think he was set. There will be a blocking foul on Chris Porter. Nice try to get back in there and establish position. He knew where the ball was headed. But he wasn't quite set to take the charge. Well, you're right about him, though. He does work hard, Joe Dean. No question about it. Gets it. Look at that. He came all the way across the lane to stop the penetration by Derek Zimmerman and try to take that charge, even though it was a foul on Porter. You got to applaud that effort. Exactly. Zimmerman won the line for the first time today. He's a good-looking youngster. That one left it short. We're going to see a lot of this young man. Uh, Rick Stansberry told me that he really thinks next year when Todd Miles graduates that Derek Zimmerman will be the guy that will step into the point guard role for Mississippi State. There is no question that he has the ability. One out of two for Zimmerman makes it a nine-point game. 
stay straight man to man. They've got to force the action right now. Down by nine. Danny almost banked it in. Goer gets the rebound for Mississippi State. Nine rebound for Michael Goer. That's amazing for a perimeter player. That's a travel on a young freshman. Derek Zimmerman. That's 13 turnovers on the Bulldogs. That has been a factor for Rick Stansberry's team. Auburn has taken much better care of the basketball today. Only seven. Well, that's a good number. If you ever commit less than 10 turnovers in a game, that's a remarkable number in a college game, especially when the defenses are this aggressive. Time be becomes a factor. We're inside of five minutes. Look at Zimmerman. Very that's athletic, isn't he? That's a freshman against a veteran, Reggie Sharp, number 22 there. Great spring off the floor to make that block. Auburn reloads with 17 on the shot clock, leading by nine. Tigers trying to snap a rare two-game losing streak in the Southeastern Conference. Sharp the lefty for three. Sharp has made two threes this afternoon. And both of them have been very big at crucial times in the game. He is in double figures with 10. This is the biggest lead of the game for Auburn. Miles guarded nicely by Sharp, left it short. And stuck back in there by Boswell. And a quick timeout taken by Rick Stansberry. Mississippi State's offense out of sync right there, but Boswell really did a nice job getting in position for that offensive putback. So the putback by Boswell makes it a 10-point lead for the Auburn Tigers with 4.04 left in the second half. And coming up next, Jefferson Pilot Sports presents another classic SEC battle. Two top 20 teams, the Florida Gators hosting the Vanderbilt Commodores. Dan Lange having a great season, averaging 22 points a game for the Vanderbilt Commodores. Might be uh, the player of the year in the conference this season. Of course, we're seeing Chris Porter put on quite a show here this afternoon. He'll challenge again for sure, Joe. Well, Chris Porter scored and rebounded, but where he has really been effective today, David, is on the defensive end, taking charges, uh, blocking shots, just being in position for loose balls. He's really done a nice job defensively. Such a talented league, the Southeastern Conference. Young league, Auburn, the oldest team in the SEC with four seniors on it. Porter might have been blocked away. Good defensive play by Boswell. That's the Mississippi State's going to need, but Porter gets it right back for the Tigers with tremendous hustling effort. My man Chris Porter making me look good. Just talking about what a great defensive game he's having, and what does he do? He steps in on Tyrus Basel, takes the charge, Auburn basketball. Porter's got 18, but it's the bench play that has bailed out Auburn repeatedly in the second half. Sharp has 10 points, two threes in the second half. We'll be back after these words from our local stations. During Suncom's ultimate trade-in event, we'll take just about anything as a trade-in for a $100 service credit on airtime or other items. Ryan, get your brother. <laughs> Store for details. Little Brothers not eligible for trade-in. Suncom! Experience. It's not easy to come by. But experience makes WSFA Alabama's new source. For 45 years, the station you relied on for the facts, the details, the complete coverage you expect from the people you trust. The most experienced news team in central Alabama. When news happens, the only place to turn is WSFA, the experience of Alabama's news source. When a rare winter storm threatened Alabama, much of Alabama is braced for snow and ice. The WSFA storm team kept you on top of the story. The storm system will weaken a little bit as it goes eastward. And WSFA News brought you complete team coverage from throughout central Alabama. A lot of people who've called in, school kids across the area are rejoicing. When severe weather threatens, trust the only local news team that's been with you for over 45 years. WSFA, Alabama's news source.
ACC Basketball has been brought to you by Jefferson Pilot Financial. Complete financial planning and life insurance. We're helping you write the story of your life. By Advance Auto Parts. The best part is our people. And by Sleep In. The next time you travel, stay at Sleep In in a class by itself. Well, the Auburn Tigers lead the Mississippi State Bulldogs by 10 with 342 remaining. And Chris Porter putting on a display at both ends of the floor. He's made a couple of big defensive plays. Mamadou Njai returns for Auburn. Well, I think they led by 10 when he left, 9 or 10, and uh, they're up by 10 when he comes back. Well, the guys off the bench have done the job, and the three-point baskets have really been the key. That's the seventh three-point basket for Auburn on the game, 7 of 14 overall. They have shot it well today. Hamilton soft touches one in. That's big for Auburn, too, Joe, because uh, they're 10th in the SEC in three-point field goal shooting. So that has not been, percentage-wise, a great strength of this uh, Auburn basketball team this year. You know, it's interesting. Yesterday, I asked Cliff Ellis about the differences between his team last year and this year. He actually told me he thought they were better offensively this year. The statistics don't bear that out. They're last in the league in field goal percentage, 10th in three-point percentage. But... Uh, with Fish back in, he is a better offensive player than was Bryant Smith. Today, they're shooting the ball extremely well. He obviously knows his team better than we do. Well, they might turn the corner offensively uh, today. They've been executing well. Now the, the ball's going in the basket for them. Don't forget that after we finish up with this one in Auburn, Alabama, we'll send you down to the Sunshine State, the O'Connell Center. Where Billy Donovan's running gun and gators will host the sharp shooting Commodores of Vanderbilt University. That should be a great one coming up next in the Eastern Division showdown after this Western Division Classic at Auburn. Porter on the drive. Finger roll up to short. Zimmerman comes up with a loose ball. Three minutes to play in the game. Fortunate for the Bulldogs not to turn that one over. Billups got a little careless with it in transition. Robert Jackson with four personal fouls returns. So he'll go nose to nose with Njai, who also has four fouls for Auburn. And you got to notice the three rebounds that Robert Jackson has in this game. Last time, 18 rebounds. Give David Hamilton and Mamadou Njai both a lot of credit for keeping Jackson off the board today. Five second count. Mississippi State turns it over again. That's 14 in the game. Auburn takes advantage on the out-of-bounds of having five defenders against four offensive players, and they get the five-second call. And free throws now down the stretch will be the key for the Auburn Tigers. They're going to have to step up there and make them because Mississippi State is going to have to send them to the line We're inside of three minutes to play in a 10-point, 11-point lead, rather, for Auburn. Mississippi State uh, with those 14 turnovers. That's the Tigers, a bad number, but the problem for Mississippi State is, Joe, they haven't forced many Auburn turnovers today, and right here is uh, one of the main reasons. Doc Robinson takes good care of the basketball. You're right, David. He really controls the game for the Auburn Tigers. Very savvy player. Cliff Ellis threw him in the mix as a freshman. He's gotten better and better every year, and now as a senior, clearly one of the best point guards in the SEC, if not the best point guard in the league. Well, he leads the league in assist to turnover ratio. Only nine turnovers in their last seven games, a remarkable number. And he uh, knocks in two free throws to give the Auburn Tigers a 13-point lead. Dangerous pass picked up by the freshman. Zimmerman shot it too long. He gets it back. Hamilton with the jumper. Well, Hamilton has responded well. He only had two points at the half, Joe, but he's chipped in with 10 second half points. And that's what uh, Rick Stansberry was looking for from Tang Hamilton. Uh, Mississippi State, as we said, has pushed the ball better in transition in the second half. That's opened up some shot opportunities for Hamilton. You see... Stansberry right there talking to his team. He's going to bring Tyrus Boswell in. And, and Mississippi State fans have to wonder, David, what kind of team would this be if they had Jonathan Bender, the freshman, who went to uh, the NBA? 
Drafted number six in the NBA by the Toronto Raptors. Traded to the Indiana Pacers. Certainly would make a difference for this Mississippi State ball club. Coming up next, Vanderbilt at Florida. Stay tuned for that one. Should be a great one from the O'Connell Center. The Florida Gators under Billy Donovan. They've had uh, certainly their moments in such a young basketball team. They're 14 and four overall. Vanderbilt might be the surprise at uh, 13 and 13. You know, I'll tell you, the whole league is young. You mentioned Auburn with four seniors. They're the only team in the league with that many seniors. Nobody else has more than two on their roster. Early departures, uh, a factor there. No question about that. A great league like the Southeastern Conference is affected by it more than other conferences. Perhaps that foul is on Antonio Jackson, his first. When you bring in the great talent, like SEC teams do, you're going to lose players now and then. Right. You take your chances. You know, Chris Porter last year had the decision to make. He opted to come back for his senior year here at Auburn, but that's not always the case. Mississippi State, as an example, Rick Stansberry's team, they have nine freshmen and sophomores on this roster, and when you go on the road in this state with that young of a team, it's very difficult to find victories. Fabian Fishback, 0 for 2 on the line. That one won't count. Somebody stepped in too early. 34, Mamadou Njai was spotted by Carlos Reyes, the official. And that'll wipe off that free throw. So it's still an 11-point lead for Auburn. Antonio Jackson recovers it to Zimmerman. Entry pass to Jackson, but Mamadou Njai rejects it. Good battle of those big men, Jackson and Njai. And that's a foul on Antonio Jackson. His second personal. And once again, Mississippi State well over the limit, so Sharp will go to the line. All-tell play of the game. Who would it be for the Auburn Tigers? How about Chris Porter? A little high-low from Mamadou Njai over the top. Porter with the long reach gets the ball, finishes with authority. Chris Porter, the All-American, with the all-tell play of the game. Jackson the floor. Antonio getting it back, through it away. Robinson's got Porter, look out. Here it comes. Porter brings down the roof at Auburn. The cliff, the cliff dwellers love it here in Verde's Coliseum. Hamilton answers with the crowd settling three-pointer. That puts him down after a riveting two-handed jam by Chris Porter. And the Bulldogs use their final timeout. Yeah, right here, Jackson on the miss. Everybody going to the offensive board for State. That leaves Porter open. Nobody in transition. I believe that pretty much says it all. Not much you can add to that one, Joe. Chris Porter now with 20 points in the basketball game. He got 25 against Tennessee, so... Uh, Realize that some of that came late when the game had been decided, but seems to be rounding into uh, form offensively as we hit the midway portion of the SEC schedule. Coming up next, Vanderbilt in Florida. You want to stay tuned for that one. That'll be a good one down in Gainesville. Minute 22 left. Mississippi State, State trying to force a turnover, but uh, instead the foul is called, so the Tigers foul parade to the free throw line again. Hamilton, Hamilton is called for his third. This will be a good win for Auburn, as we said earlier. They've got two more home games coming up next week. Alabama on Wednesday. Of course, that's always a big one. Interstate rivalry, and then next Saturday here, Auburn will host Arkansas. And well, they take care of business. They ought to come out of this three-game home span. Seven and two in the West, and maybe with a little bit of a cushion as they go for their uh, second straight SEC Western Division championship. Well, Auburn, uh, their aspirations are beyond SEC. Certainly looking for national ranking as well. They're ranked seventh now. They've dropped a couple of spots with the two defeats. So and every game is important to try and get uh, that national ranking up also for seeding in the NCAA tournament. Well, that's exactly right. That was talked about uh, in the newspaper here locally today that Auburn was starting to slip a little bit nationally. And last year, of course, they went into the NCAA tournament as the number one seed in the Southeast region. They'd like to get back there again. Patterson trying to draw a contact. Oh, back did a good job to avoid. And it goes to Auburn on the rebound as... Uh, 
Patterson tipped it out of bounds. 109 left. Rick Stansberry running out of time, running out of options. And uh, well, his team has battled hard today, but they have been tough at home. Yeah, they have played hard. They really have. They've got some limitations, especially inside. Uh, and they, they were exposed today by Porter and Hamilton, especially Hamilton off the bench. But Rick Stansberry's team plays extremely hard. They're well coached, defensively do a good job. Again, a young team that I think in time is going to be very, very good for Rick Stansberry. Robinson on the line. Doc, a 72% free throw shooter. Given the name is Julius, so you don't have to be a genius to figure out how he got the nickname Doc. Julius, Doc Irving. Makes those house calls, they like to say about him around here. He's been the cornerstone of this program the last four years, the program that Cliff Ellis came in and built into championship quality. Good job on the free throw line here in this fourth quarter. It's a 14-point game. That is the biggest lead for the Tigers, and uh, there's almost a steal. Sharp had it knocked away, but into the hands of Doc Robinson. Only 50 seconds left, and Mississippi State continues to send Auburn to the free throw line. But they're down by 14 points now, and Auburn is uh, making their free throws late in this ball game. They're going to bring a crowd favorite, Auburn, Abe Smith, into the game. Was a high school teammate of Scott Pullman. Doesn't get to play a lot. He's a 4.0 student, and uh, the crowd loves him. He's going to come in for fishback. Out of Roswell, Georgia. He's only played in five games this season. Sharp adds another for the Auburn Tigers. This is going to look like a, a route when, in actuality, with about five minutes left, it was very much in doubt. Zimmerman penetrating, cut off by Smith. Hamilton long three. Dang Hamilton. He's hit two threes in the fourth quarter. Crowd going wild as Abe Smith dribbles the ball over the midcourt line. And he'll shoot it. <laughs> and the crowd says, give it to him again. <laughs> He's not warmed up. There he goes. You got to love that, Bill. Yeah, you do. No question about it. Young man, he works just as hard every day in practice as his teammates. It's nice to see him get a little recognition. He goes from air ball to three-point shot in about 10 seconds. Hamilton misfires, and that's going to do it. Auburn wins it again. They are still undefeated at home this season, 11-0 here at Beard Eves Coliseum, and they've won 27 straight overall in this building. Seventh-ranked Tigers go to 17-3 on the year. A fine performance by Chris Porter with 20 points and four rebounds. Good job on the defensive end of the floor as well for Chris and in the end, a 16-point victory for the Auburn Tigers. They go to 5-2 and two in the SEC, while the Bulldogs drop to 2-4. and four. Coming up next, Vanderbilt at Florida. That should be a good one down in Gainesville. The Gators looking for some revenge. On a cold, wintry day outside, Auburn fans are entertained with a uh, very sound performance by their basketball team. They have lost two in a row, but they came in here with uh, some new energy, trying to regather their momentum. Chris Porter, the senior from Abbeville, Alabama, did a great job getting 20 points in the game, and they win it. You've been watching Jefferson Pilot Sports.